What am I? Well, you know, actually, I'm more curious about the Palme d'Or Award and seeing how he won it, and you know, just to see the the documentary as a piece of art, not so much with a message, because you know, I'm Australian, and we know what the Australian, you know, I, I don't really want to express my opinion too much on you know Bush or not, um, but you know, I'm just here to see how great the film is. I mean, I'm wondering how the, it, it was possible to sum it up, but I mean, you would know better than anybody else mm -hmm. how the Australians do perceive America, specifically Bush at this particular time. Australians perceive America as the land of opportunity. This is before all this mess. Um, we see Americans as very ambitious. We see Americans as saying, you know, yes before they say no, which I love in this business. You know, they say, you know, yes, it is possible, but maybe no. Whereas in other countries, it's no and maybe yes. So I like that. We like that about the Americans. Um, as far as all this, I think, you know, I agree with some of it and I agree, disagree with some of it. Um, Australia supports Bush, so the government supports Bush, not so much the people. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so? Yes, 
stuff out. Jeff Bette Midler has sunglasses on here. I think she's walking with an old one. I come tonight, and, you know, it's, is there more than just seeing the movie? This is more than a premiere for us. Uh, well, Michael Moore has made, the, from what I hear, a really incredible film, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I think he's brilliant and at telling the truth, and I'm looking forward to seeing some truth. Aren't you? It's time. <laughs>
Can we get Norman Lear here? Hi. Mike Sidoni, Associated hey, Press. It's Hi. good to see Hi. you, sir. Good to see you. Um, I, ha I have to ask, you know, why come No, you don't you? Yes, have to do, do anything. Yes, we do. It's we a want to free know. America. You don't have to do anything. We want to know why you're here. And are, you know, is, is it a political statement being here tonight? So if it's a political statement that's being here tonight, you're the one who's going to make it. I'm here because uh, I don't know how many hundreds of people at Khan stood for 22 minutes in a standing ovation. I've got to see what they're talking about. Having had your, your own issues yeah. with the Hollywood bureaucracy for a long time, uh, are you surprised at what happened with Disney and Michael and the, the distribution of this film? No, this is the guy who made uh, uh, Bowling for Columbine. So, who would want to see his next picture, and especially after hearing what happened in Cut? There you go, On here. Kelly Osborne. Really? By a majority of the people. I'm not crazy, but you know, ever since that day, I just uh, haven't gotten over it. Uh, well, that's a good question. Certainly not him. <laughs> Vigo Mortensen. There's Vigo Mortensen on the carpet. Vigo Mortensen. Stop 
talk, Vigo. I'm uh, real honored by Vigo. Hey, Vigo, we got a word with the Associated Press? Jody. Jody. Oh, Jody Foster. Hi, Jody. Jody. It's going to be one of those. Mike. I, I, I want to guarantee that if, if people decide on whatever Friday or Saturday night to go see my movie, they will leave that theater going, holy moly, man, that was something. <laughs> you know? Isn't that the hope of every filmmaker? You know? Um, how about the MTV audience? Uh, what would you say to them to, to, you know, to suggest that this movie might be uh, something good for them to see? Well, as I said on the movie award show, the film is full of buttheads. All right, it's like it's like invasion of the buttheads, except they all go to D.C. You know, and then another butthead, me, comes to try and you know save the day. <laughs> it's you know, and there's a tender love story somewhere in the midst of all of that. But I swear to God, I'm telling you, man, you come see this film. Uh, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. That much I know. This, this film, uh, you know, despises all authority. Uh, and uh, <laughs> and so if you're one of those people who just simply have a healthy disrespect for most authority, this is your movie. You will leave the theater and want to ask someone to light a torch or something. In this election, there's right now, I think it's 7 to 8 percent of people that are swing votes right now. Do you feel like they're kind of out there for the taking? Like, you know? well, those swing voters are always out there for the taking. And, you know, they're the ones that get all the fun because they're <laughs> swinging. You know, I mean, the rest of us, you know, we live very traditional, normal, conservative kind of lives. Left, right, Democrat, Republican. The 7% who swing, bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Is this film going to uh, uh, you know, influence them, uh, push them one way or another? I read one review where a critic said that uh, any swing voter who enters the theater swinging uh, by the time they leave will have swung. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> That's very good. Now, what's, what are you going to do next? Uh, what's, what's the next well, what am I going to do next? Um, well, they already... What else is there left to do after that? You know, that movie's been made. You know? I don't know what to do. Thank I'm you. Just, go make some music videos is what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Rage against, All right. thank you More Rage Against the Machine. Oh, That's you. what I'm going to do. Reunite Rage Against the Machine. I feel so responsible for their breakup. They're at the great. MTV Music Awards. <laughs> the bass player climbed the thing. You know, and I could have talked him out of it. I'm sitting right next to him. Okay, AP. Bam broke up that night. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. It's a pleasure. So, two premieres tonight. Whose idea was that? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, the people's. Uh, the demand was uh, so incredible for this that they had to add a second theater across the street. And now I just heard that there's such an overflow here for this one, they've added another screening at that theater. So there's actually three tonight. I can ask what you heard when you heard Barbara was in the um, I'm so nervous. Someone down the line, is she here yet? I'm so nervous uh, that she's uh, going to be here. I mean, she's an American idol, uh, the real one, <laughs> the real idol. And uh, I'm, I'll be honored to meet her. I've never met her. I'm wondering if what happened with, with Disney uh, ultimately taught you as a filmmaker a, a lesson. I don't like the lesson it taught me. You know, the lesson it taught me is that uh, if you step outside the line, uh, they're going to try and, and crush you. And after they Disney got away with this, or tried to get away with it, I thought, geez, if they could do this to me, I mean, at least you know, I'm somewhat known. I get to make my movies. What about the what about the guy in Boise or the the, the girl in Seattle who's trying to make her film? What's the lesson to her? The lesson is. Don't make a movie that's going to upset the powers to be or you'll never get distribution. And so then all those other documentary filmmakers maybe then start to make films that, you know, pull back, pull their punch, not say what they really want to say, you know. Memories of Reagan, so, people are remembering Reagan today. Well, of course. I think our condolences go out to his family. Anybody who's lost a loved one knows what they're feeling this week, and uh, we all share uh, in that.
So, Larry David just walked by. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm spending more time watching these people. Larry David. Going, and, and Gary Shandling just Thank came you, in. Reuters. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Hey, Reuters. I want to do that again. I hope you can handle that. And uh, I really want to improve Danny DeVito. I mean, this is an event. Uh, Michael Moore has a, a, got a singular voice, a uh, singular point of view, and he uh, expresses himself. And it's wonderful that we have a country that allows him to do that, especially uh, in the, the divided country that we're living in, to have somebody who's expressing himself as, uh, as iconoclastically as Michael Moore does. And I think it's ultimately going to be uh, uh, an energizing film for a lot of people in this country. And I think, frankly, the, the Democrats need to be energized as a Democrat myself. Well, you know, uh, you know, you always want to energize the base when you're you know, in the presidential year, but I think the, the Democrats are more united now than they've ever been before. Uh, the, the, this president has taken us in the wrong direction with a really wrong-headed foreign policy, and uh, I, I think you, you're seeing Democrats united like they've never been before. So, you know, the big question... Uh, I was going to ask you that. 
Awesome. Thanks. 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 Hey, Can I ask if, if, um, if you know being here tonight is more than just coming to understand? Oh yeah, because yeah. we like Michael. We think it's work is terrific and uh, you know we're really excited because the last movie was like really terrific and we, wanted, we love this movie since Canadian Bacon which is a movie that Rhea was in that he directed we've always we've been big fans and so I think it's going to be a little different than Canadian Bacon okay, a little, yeah it's an American Bacon do you hear a political statement do you think for you tonight uh, it's not a political statement to be here but certainly we our politics are, are very um, firm <laughs> Yeah. You know, Democratic side, so, you know, we keep hoping for the best here. Yeah, let's keep Literally. your fingers crossed, yeah. because what is it? What is this now? What is it? June? Yeah, July, August, September, October, November. Close, really. Close. we got to get to work. Hello. Work. I think he's a really great filmmaker and uh, always uh, gives us a good laugh and, and opens our eyes. And, um, you know, he's fearless, too. And we'll, Not we'll, afraid to say anything. We're excited about it. So. Are, you ever, are you ever concerned to hear stories about you know, the whole thing with Disney and Miramax? Is this artist, does that, does that bother you? Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't know, but... You know, I mean, it's censorship shift is not good, but if you don't want to release a movie, you know, it's your bucks, you can do whatever you want. If somebody is always going to be, you know, stand up for it, like like uh, Harvey did, and, uh, you know, and uh, wind up, uh, you know, they'll find a way. The and truth hopefully will all have publicity you know. will bring more people yeah, in people to see it. Yeah, see the movie. That's, what, that's a good yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, because our, our basic civil rights are being encroached upon. Freedom of speech, the Patriot Act, all of that. And I swear to fear, you know, fear of people. When I go into an anti war protest or I speak out of a pro choice, you should see the hate mail I get. It is unbelievable. There's people who would wish that I, you know, wasn't on the planet. Thank you very much. I've got friends and I want to get in. But I want to go in. Hi. Oh, hey, how are you? Thank you. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to cover that next week. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm wondering if for you being here is more than just coming to a movie. Perhaps it is a political statement. I've been wanting to see this movie for ages. It's not a political statement. I'm here to learn and be educated about what's happening in the country. It's so hard to sift through all the lies and the deceit that it takes somebody like Michael Moore who is so bright and so informed to kind of, you know, give it to us in a dose that we can handle. So I really am coming to learn because, um, you know, I know those people are bad, but, I, you know, I need to know why. I need the, the facts to support it. So I'm not here for really any political reason, but just to be informed. Her? Or is it not? got to ask, you know, it's uh, what you're hoping to see tonight, what you're hoping that this movie is, gonna, is going to say and do. Well, what I understand the movie is doing is actually making all the connections between uh, the Bush administration and their fanaticism, the way they've overlooked so much evidence and so many facts that would have made this country safer. Thank you so much for this. I know it's running... fairly similar in terms of what happened with Paranite 911 in your film? Um, in terms of the, you know, Disney says, hey, we don't want to be a part of this, uh, sure. And in terms of Lionsgate winding up being the distributor, sure. Um, but until Michael gets a couple death threats, no. <laughs> we had death threats. So he's got to rise to that, you know. He's got he's to catch himself some hell in print form. Um, that, that actually threatens his life. And then we'll be about on the same on the same server. Thanks, Thanks for all the best.
The right wing news. stand in line. Elizabeth, 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 El
This is some of my best work. I was a. Uh... I was a card. <laughs> Hey, why did you want to be one of the first ones here tonight? Oh, I'm just, I, uh, I don't know. What are you, what are you looking forward to here? I'm good. I just hope J-Lo's good. <laughs> Any of that? This was the quiet screening. They said there's one at seven and one at ten. I'll go with ten. I'll go to the late show. <laughs> but, but none of celebrities are stopping to talk to anybody. Like, why do you think that like is this a solemn occasion or something? You know, I just came from a David Frum book party where he was talking about his book called An End to Evil. Well, you know, the fact that there are people in the world who think they can end evil. There's a lot of us on the other side who want to see something reasonable. Some people are saying that this could actually change the outcome of the election. No. Of course, I, no, I mean, George Bush is loved by a certain percentage of the country, it's true. He could slaughter his family on the 6.30 evening news and be in those pictures from Abu Ghraib with the leash in his hand, and 40% of this country would find a way the next day to figure out how that's a good thing. <laughs> so, you know, this is not going to bring any of those people over, but the people who uh, have been 
wondering why all this stuff wasn't brought up more in the 2000 election or glad to th see that it's finally being brought up in this one. You always have an opinion about something when you heard about J-Lo and uh, Mark Anthony. What, was your, what were your thoughts? I mean, this chick is like a parking space in New York. You, it only stays open for about a minute, and then there's always going to be something. You know, I, I guess, I guess she's lost to me for another eight months when she gets. No, no. I, I think this is third time's the charm for Jayla. Phil, do you think that I'm being hoping. here is a political statement? Not just. Is it more than just going to a movie tonight? The movie is a political statement. Me, I'm just here for the entertainment because Mike is an entertaining guy. Phil, how you doing? Hey. It's been a while. Haven't you seen this last show? So I love vacation time, but on the other hand, I am glad that the vacation is ending and I can get back on the air and talk about some of the things my kids are probably going to be bringing up. You're no stranger to controversy. Any suggestions for how we handle this? Oh, gee, giving controversy lessons to Michael Moore is like giving uh, violin lessons to Paganini. I think he's got it covered. Thank you, buddy. All right. Appreciate it. I don't know if I'll learn much because I think He's right there. He's there. Still there. Yep. Uh, the reaction was incredible. Uh, a large standing ovation, and uh, felt very privileged to be there. Yeah. We've had <laughs> so far there have been about ten celebrities that have come. Nobody's talked to us. Why do you think that is? I think they want to go see the movie. Uh, and talk to them afterwards. See what they think. You think they're all right? All right. Okay. All right. Let's go. We'll be right back. We're done. That's all right. My dad has everything. I don't. 